We all agree the Special Olympics is a good, it's a good program. It's great. I just feel like the guy who came up with it had to be like a real risk taker. <laughs> Some guy in a board meeting, like, I got an idea. We should be racing these motherfuckers. <laughs> I was like, what'd you say? Like, fucking you know, town over said they had the fastest ones. <laughs> so we settle it, you know? I'm not making fun of the Olympians. The concept is wild. It's a wild, like if your best friend... Who the fuck were you going to tell that to? What are you doing? Pole vault? <laughs> you can't do the cool moves you see in porn. Just do regular. You ever try them? You ever think you can? You ever try, like, come in a girl's face? They're a lot less receptive in real life. <laughs> that whole process is a fucking... I think my favorite part of the year was I, uh, I got to watch my dad watch the news. He's a Fox News guy. Fox News dad. That's a good fucking dad. Can you imagine if you had a fucking MSNBC dad? Some guy every night at dinner, like, we need to start focusing on renewable energy. It's like, ew, dude, I didn't know dad was gay. <laughs> Talking to me about solar panels like a fucking lady. He might have had her straight as hell, dude. We fucking hate the environment. That's how straight we are. All we talk about is eating pussy and fracking. Like every Fox News dad, my dad watches Fox every night until he can't. They watch every night until they get so angry they have to go to bed. My dad will watch for like two hours, and then out of nowhere, he'll just stand up and be like, fucking Mr. Potato Heads? Trance, I'm going to bed. This world's going to hell. Fox News is basically black church for old white dudes. You know what I mean? Like, literally everything they say, my dad just sits there like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, preach, Tucker. Once in a while, he gets hit with the Holy Spirit while he's watching it. The Holy Ghost visits him. He's just like, oh, Lord, build a wall. Can I get a wall? White people used to be cool in America. The height of white people being cool was us going, we're like, man. That was as cool as we got. We're like, man, see? And then the day white people stopped being cool, it was Jackie Robinson's first game. You can look it up, dude. You can find it. You can find the radio call from that game online. You can hear the exact moment white people stop being cool. You can hear the announcers. They still got there like, man. Welcome to Chicago, where the White Sox take on the Brooklyn Dodgers. We all had cool white nicknames. Like, up at the mound is old Curly. He's a 47-year-old alcoholic. He's the greatest athlete alive. Runs a six-second, 40-yard dash. Fastest man alive, they say. Autistic kids, they're like cats. A little skittish. You're not sure if they like you at all. Down syndrome or dogs? They're the dogs, dude. You get home. You get home from somewhere. They're like, where the f*** have you been? Dude, I got so much to show you. This is going to be the best day. Tell it, ask a Down Syndrome kid, do you want to go for a walk? But like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, throw a ball. <laughs> throw a ball. <laughs> I'll get on Twitter and the first tweet I see will be someone from back home that's just like, fucking Colin Kaepernick better stand up. <laughs> like this tweet if you support the police. Share it if you're not gay. All right, I'm fucking I'm share it. <laughs> And then the next post is just one of my new woke white friends that's just like, I'm not racist. That's it. Every day for the last year, just a different white person popping up. Like, look at me. Look at this article I shared to my Instagram story. I'm not racist, right? It's like, all right. You sure? So I don't know if you know this. Like, being racist isn't like a yes or no thing. You know what I mean? It's not like you have it or you don't have it. Like, being racist is more, it's like being hungry. You know? It's like, yeah, you're not right now. It's like, yeah, you're not hungry right now, but the thing is, racism is in America, football. <laughs> There's a Disney movie, Remember the Titans, dedicated to what I just told you. The whole point of that, dude, that was one high school football season. Remember the Titans was like, it was eight weeks. That whole town went from like centuries of like, don't let them in our school, to just like, oh shit, the high school team's 4-0? <laughs> Those are my brothers. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is if you want to get rights in America, you just got to put together a good football team. You know what I mean? If the transgenders got together and put together just a fucking hard nose, run it down your throat ball club. If the trans did just three yards in a cloud of dust of transgenders. If the trans, if the trans community could just somehow upset Alabama, everybody down there tomorrow would be like, those are some tough bitches, actually. I <laughs> Australian accent's one of those accents that's funny every single time. You could be in the middle of a fucking tragedy if you heard an Australian accent, you'd still be like, <laughs> like if there was like an Australian guy in the office on 9-11, I was like, oh fuck, look out! <laughs> like, oh no, there's another one, get down! Ah <laughs> oh, fuck, it's hot up here, gonna have to jump out! <laughs> no! <laughs> I, remember, I was thinking about the first time like Congress had to come up with age of consent. 
That had to be like the powdered wigs and stuff. That had to be a rough day for the fellas. It's like some guy coming up first, like, from Rhode Island, 12. And everyone's like, ew, ew. No, dude. I, I don't know. Why do I have to go first on this one? It's like the hardest one to go first on. the army the scarier forever dude throughout history think of any army throughout history imagine them gay gay nazis just when you thought those guys couldn't look any sharper they <laughs> gay vikings gay vikings dude you're just some villager looking out on the shoreline see a bunch of viking longships coming you're like oh no it's the vikings they're gonna rape our wives and daughters then they run played college so it's like On the, I was like, yep. snacks. Track shoes for some reason. She was like, no, we need those shorts. The tight shorts, they're essential. She compared them to like a helmet in football. I was like, I know they're not essential because I Googled the, uh, the Special Olympics volleyball team. <laughs> All of a sudden, those shorts weren't so essential for them. <laughs> What's that about? How baggy do you think they're? They look like the fucking N1 mixtape out there. <laughs> Offensively baggy is how I would describe all of their attires. I'm not discounting the fact it's hard for families. It is. I've witnessed it firsthand. It's difficult. It's very scary at first. And then you quickly realize that's easily the only good family member we have. That's the only good person I know. They're the bros, dude. They're the perfect. Biden is Trump's kryptonite in a debate. Trump tries to drag the other guy into like a shit-talking contest. He can't get Biden. Every debate he's trying so hard and Biden's just... He tries, he just, you're a loser, your son did crack. Biden's just, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end of the game, there'd be a hug line between the waitresses and the players. And yeah, that one. <laughs> and I'm not knocking the, the, the players. They were totally in the right. The girls were hot. The waitresses, like every year I would sneak into the hug line myself. <laughs> Do you ever see an old lady fall? Like, my grandma fell. She was trying to get the hose from behind her house, and she fell behind a bush. Should I act it out? Like, uh, <laughs> if you want. But it looked like the wild, the... Uh, well, this is going to distract me, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're doing it, I was like, it looked like... Uh, <laughs> and like yeah. Uh, but yeah, she fell, and then her feet were just sticking out from a bush. And she laid there for like two hours. It was the summer. Whoa, wait, she... <laughs> She was Wizard hot. of Oz did where she was No, just... like just her feet were sticking out from under a bush in her backyard. Oh, And then wow. a neighbor's kid found her. <laughs> Which is very funny. Because if you don't have life alert and you're old, you just have to yell. But it's very faint if <laughs> you're, you're older. There, be like, Help! <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> you guys don't think it's funny to have to lay there? I don't know if you know this. The war in the middle... I could start immediately. A wee mowit. I could start immediately. A wee mowit. How you like that, dude? A wee moment. We on, baby. Moment. You notice my posture? It's the Brugger method. <laughs> it's the Brugger method. I went to the chiropractor last week. Told me I have to fucking sit. Fucking Asian sweet boy DM me, sent me like ways to fix my fucking shitty posture. Really? Un unprompted. Dude, it's I was a, like, all right, but hit thanks. It's a big deal. I have, yeah, I have horrible. I have the worst fucking. I might start podcasting if you don't mind from a standing desk. I'll be slightly out of frame, that's but fine. I think it'll be that's worth fine. it for my posture. Dude, I went. You have a decent posture. I, I, apparently, it sucks. The guy was like, "How do you sit?" And I, you know, I, I sit like this. Yeah. Like, dude, he was like, "Cause that's why I had like what neck issues." Of, what kind of psycho would you be? Dude, this is the Brugger method. I'm, I'm just every every time he's like, "It's no big deal." Whatever. Brugger. 
Bruder. Yeah, of course, a German sat like that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's such a German way of sitting. Yeah, dude. So you have to pull your sacrum in first. Is the sacrum is what everything's resting on. And then you pull your shoulders down. <laughs> During the military guys episode, I sat like this. I was like, I know, I saw you the whole time, very straight face. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the uh, the military episode had to get taken down. I literally, I looked at you like six or seven times during that podcast and laughed, <laughs> which was funny because it was middle of him being like talking about a story of him like carrying his buddies out that just got shot. And I was like, <laughs> the whole time I was like, I just want my sacrum to be right for this. Oh, is that what you were doing? I was doing the Bruger yeah, method. Yeah, you did it the whole time and it looked hilarious. And I was catching myself. straight face. Yeah, I would catch myself and I would just be like in my Zoom screen and just be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was that was a good one but yeah sorry we had to take that down uh government got a hold of us true the government came down i don't think people us. believe it they're like no i'm like dude i'm telling you man. yeah dude they found that shit quick which you know i have questions now it's either how do they get behind a paywall right away and pick up names it's either scary time snitch there was no snitch you think it was just ai that was his if you say his name onto a platform yeah they have my bad for that. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Shouldn't, gonna, shouldn't be on the air right now. It was good. If you listened to it, enjoyed it. That's cool. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. We did. <clears throat> yeah, that guy had a clearance. He wasn't. The government doesn't want him chat. All right, we interviewed Q. All right, <laughs> yeah. we interviewed Q. I'm no, sorry. Q. I'm sorry. We interviewed Q. And uh, he he disclosed zero state secrets to me. I don't have any. Nope. Government. <laughs> <laughs> I know what they're up to, dude. What are they up to? Ah, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Government's uh, got a couple of Dalias in the Senate. Really? A couple of Dalias popping around, making laws. Senator Kell, Senator Dalia. <laughs> Senator Kell's in the lead. R.I.P. Chris Dalia. <laughs> yeah, man. That was a. Uh... R.I.P. Is he going to keep doing his podcast? <laughs> he better. He better. <laughs> he better. He's fucked. I mean, I'm not like, you know, I'm not. Yeah, he is fucked. I, I'd say pretty. Yeah, that's a tough. And see, that's that's like, fuck it. I'll, here, here's exactly what. I, yesterday we recorded a full podcast, talked about race for about an hour, two and, hours, uh, <laughs> two hours straight. <laughs> it was uh, it was a lot. And uh, oh. now it'll just be me saying something and backpedaling on Crystalia. Well, well, kids are hot these days. I mean, I'm not like really defending him, but you know, it's gonna be that for an hour and a half. No, uh, no, no. It's but just, here's what was scary. Yeah, he got called a pedophile. Sure. And everybody was so happy to call him that on Twitter. It's pretty fun. There's literally, it is I, look, pretty satisfying to call. I heard the news. Pedophile. When I heard the news, I was like, "Oh, nice!" <laughs> Immediately got on Twitter and I was like, "Ah, <laughs> fuck! It sucks for him, huh?" But uh, you know, there's no, there's no way of controlling it. There's no way of being like, "Hey, everybody on Twitter, we got to wait until someone's proven guilty." Yeah. Before he's number one trending trending in America as mm-hmm. pedophile. Yeah. That's a rough one. Oh, dude! I didn't think I, I thought, think. I didn't think it got worse than ours. <laughs> Apparently, it gets dude. worse. Dude. Apparently, yeah. I mean, they hit the Lou dog with just like masturbator. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. aggressive. No, but, they hit him with aggressive masturbator. Well, that was after the for the initial. He gets he gets hit with rapist a lot. Does he? Lou dog? Really? Yeah. King oh, Louis. King Louis gets hit with King Louis gets. It. They bring that to his table. Of oh, like he just says no. No. <laughs> Get this out of here. No. <laughs> But the Leah man got. I read yeah. it. It's damning. The only the only problem is, well, again, it was like the Aziz and Sari situation where girls like hung out with the a famous guy them, and he just wanted to fuck me. It's annoying. Yeah, it's that like, was the, well, a couple of them were like, all right, shut up, keep yeah. fucking moving, lady. And here's here's the fucked up thing is I was. It's like a bunch of. It's like man, why do they all come out at once? It's like, well, they finally feel brave enough. It's like, or do they see other girls getting a lot of likes? Dude, that's, <laughs> that's a valid a fucking, question. It's a valid, valid question. Valid question. Anything's on the table anymore. Here's the, I'm not two doing steps this. forward, one step back. I'm, uh, we're living in a country right now where the media is blatantly lying to the population. So anything's on the table, dude. But yeah, the problem is too when you see <laughs> the thing that made me laugh is when a lot of them are like, I was like a beginning comedian. I thought he was going to advise me, and it really, he just wanted to fuck me, which is super annoying. It's like. Of course you want to. You you done. Yeah. You did two open mics, and you think this guy now like that's your mentor? Hey. A famous guy DMs you like, oh, perfect. This is how this works. Yeah, I do stand up. Well, they saw funny people. And they're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I just do one mic, and then Adam Sandler makes me famous. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's so a couple of them are like, oh man, that's but then, it's just a pile on. And then, but then you see the one or two that's like, <laughs> he's DMing like sixteen year olds. Like, <laughs> you see, the, you see the indefensible. Yeah, the indefensible yeah, ones like, are just like, how old are you again? Well, I just think you don't tell. You can't tell young chicks they're cute, man. It's like 
it's weird. That's hard or, as it or is. Or lament the fact. You can't lament a chick's age via text. It's like. And then I'm sitting there. I'm like, damn, dude. I better not get fucking popped on any of these. <laughs> like what? Because they immediately put up a clip of him being like, 14-year-olds are not. Oh, dude. 14 anymore. They're 35. They're hot. I saw that. <laughs> it's like, oh. I saw that. Yeah, if I get if I get hit on anything, there's gonna be clips of me being like, I'd fuck Lewis's son. <laughs> like, <it's just> like, <laughs> I, I immediately thought about yeah. that. I'm like, dude, there would be it would be like four it would be people would be like, shut it off. Enough. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's more. Like, shut it off, yeah. god damn it. <laughs> yeah. So uh yeah. If you had to go to like a C SPAN thing, like I I I did say kids were hot. I did say kids your honor, I was kidding. I was talking about the gymnastics show and I did say those kids were hot. They were hot kids. Hopping around. Like for the record, do you think those kids are hot, Mr. Gillis? You'd be like, I those kids For the are record, hot. sworn testimony. <laughs> Damn. Yes, Your Honor. Did they, <laughs> did they ever do that? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. <laughs> you had to do like a newspaper every face. Yeah. <laughs> the kids were fucking hot. <laughs> Running out of the courtroom. <gasps> yeah, well, it was funny too, because there was like the some of the girl, one of the girls too, uh, well, this is actually kind of funny. It kind of ties into other stuff. One of the girls who came forward, I think her name's or her Twitter name's Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I'm like reading her thing. I'm like, man, that's really shitty. And then it's she's like, uh, her link is just like web, my webcam, my OnlyFans profile. So I'm like, all right. So I'm like, webcam model. So now my brain, my my wheels are spinning, dude. I'm going like, all right. He, he, per, he totally might have hit you up, but it's like. Like right now, I've seen this thing where people are like, go with this? people have been complaining about <laughs> cops, right? They're like, people like, they don't understand cops are a dangerous job. And people are like, yeah, have you ever met a sex worker? And it's like, <laughs> what? There's yeah. no comparison there. Like, have you ever gotten butt fucked in the back of a Subaru in a legally parked car? It's like, <laughs> it's like I guess, man. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make you a hero. It's like, <laughs> 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 I saw people, people been trying to be like, you think cops got it rough? Imagine being a sex worker. It's like, nonsense yeah man and then uh all i can do is brew out <laughs> dude chiropractors have this sick they're like they have like a phd in stoner knowledge <laughs> the, whole, the whole like the guy was like cracking my back and he's like yeah when you when you pinch your when your back's like like this you're basically letting your neck bow out and it's putting pressure here and he's like dude also too do you know if you unraveled all your dna it would go to pluto <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's pretty sick thanks bro he's like yeah dude you got like two billion organisms right in your belly button it's no big deal anyway here flip your leg over and i'm like thanks bro they sent me home with a packet of basically like you are like a universal entity dude it's fucking awesome i'm going back friday i think this is a unique chiropractor no dude they're all they're all like this they're all I've been to a couple, dude. Dingbats? No, 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 dude. They're just on some next level shit. He, dude. Yeah. I was like laying there with my eyes closed, and he was just like, "Check this out, dude." He's like, "Close your eyes. Tell me where your toes are pointing." And I'm like, "Yeah, I can basically tell." He's like, "Yeah, it's your kinesthetic sense, dude. Your body knows where it is at all times." I'm like, "Dude, this fucking <laughs> awesome." Nice. Yeah, I'm. I'm like, I think I'm gonna keep going like once every month. Chiropractor is yeah. the only doc. I don't have health insurance anymore. I'm back off health insurance. How much does it cost? Well, it's eighty bucks for the initial visit, and after that, it's just forty bucks a pop. Oh, yeah, back line, bro. It's unbelievable. Someone, it someone was trying to. No, dude, that's the thing. It's like, so they, they first of all, you got to crack the uh, sacrum first because that's yeah. what everything's resting on. So he goes, he folds your leg over, and just goes boom, and it's just like <laughs> cracks, does the back, and then he's like, all right, relax. Takes your neck and just goes boom, and pops your neck real quick, and just my neck pain all went away. My arm was tingling for like two months. Oh yeah, gone. Told dude. me about gone. That. Back Friday. That's Fuck, why dude. I, I might go to this guy. Dude, In fact, you know what's going to be funny? I'm going to go to him and have some Snapple facts lined up myself. <laughs> and hit him with some. Hit him with some wild a shit. PhD in Snapple yeah. facts. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with some facts, and he's going to be like, "Yeah, man, right on." Oh, dude, <laughs> you know? I'm like, all right, man, this guy's all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the shit he sent me home with is so fucking funny, man. Basically telling you, like, dude, you are, you know, like your body's intuition is like full it's like the best expert you know in chemistry physics i was like dude you're absolutely right bro fuck yeah you got my 40 bucks for a lifetime dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe i should do that instead of a therapist chiropractor yeah just have them tell Cheaper. you dude it's infinitely hit me with cool facts yeah exactly line me up a little that's all you need to do i'll just start spilling my guts to that guy you, you, you honestly probably could. He'll probably do the same thing as a therapist. I'll be like, why, why would you say that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, me and my dad, you know, he's, he never really says sorry. He's like, well, like my dad never says sorry. Why are you bringing that up? I feel like right I'm now? storing this like, thing with know. my dad up in my <laughs> yeah. back shoulders. If you I crack guess I that don't up. I don't know why I'm bringing that up. <laughs> you hear about this Delete? <laughs> I hesitate to say this, but usually you kind of know 
what's going on in your friend Sniz life. Typically isn't a secret, bro. Dude, you got you got a good one out of the man. <laughs> yeah, I it's, go, good, mm. it's good to have uh, the producer of the man in here. It's, <laughs> it's good to have some soul in here. You can't have, if you if you make a good enough point, the producer will go, mm. <laughs> uh-huh. that's, all I, that's all I want, dude. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Just the burger method, dude. It helps me think. What, the snooze life of him? I bet he kept it. Look, I bet they knew he was banging like young chicks, but – you're going to keep that 16-year-old text to yourself. True. True. Not like, true. yo, I fucking text. I'm grooming. I'm grooming these bitches. True. <laughs> I'm waiting on them. Yeah, I mean, it, that's that's one of those things, too. It's like waiting. I, I heard a story one time about someone in another country where, like, fuck, who was this? This was someone I knew. That, that's how their mom and dad met. The dad, the, the mom was in school. Yeah. She was, like, 15. And the dad was, like, he paid a teacher money. He was like, keep an eye on her and keep her away from everyone. I'm going to make her my wife after she graduates. Yeah, you used to be able to do that. Yeah. and the guy, used was, to be like common. Yeah. And then he was just like, all right, you're out of school. Come move in with yeah. me. I paid your teacher to keep you away from the boys. And now you're mine. And I was like, that's kind of yeah. sweet in some weird international way. That's what happened in uh, the movie Parasite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. got one. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got one out there. <laughs> that happened in Parasite. Mm. <laughs> But yeah, man. Yeah. It, there weren't too many of those yesterday, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> During our one hour race talk. Not a lot of uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so just, you know it's not great. It was just <laughs> Yeah, a couple like <laughs> off the mic. <laughs> oh my bad. It's all good. I can't touch these. It's all good. You can touch them, dude. Totally everything in here is totally sturdy and up to code. Uh yeah, man. It's it's one of those it's like the the apparatus, this thing's being pushed through, I despise. But then yeah. it's like, you know, if I'm, if I was sitting there, you know, like the, the standard thing, like, well, that was my daughter, and I catch my daughter, I'm like, who are you talking to? And she's like, some comedian. I read that. I'd be like, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Yeah. So you know, is what it is. True. That should be the thing. All the dads of those and powerful moms of that and of those kick-ass girls, moms. kick-ass moms, yeah, should be able to go over there and just fucking get. Well, them she's got OnlyFans. There's. It's just a kick-ass mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, you're, ta- you're just talking. You're talking goblin, dude. The goblin. The goblin. Unfortunately, we probably shouldn't name her Twitter. But she's an OnlyFans. We're only just people more. True. Dude, we're sending a true. legion true, true, of true. jerkers, dude. Yeah, we're sending a le- legion of jerkers that are also going to be like, fucking bitch. Fucking. That was fucked up. They'll be like, that was fucked up what you did to fucking. Uh, no, our, 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 our fans aren't. <laughs> now they're. They hate pedophiles. We roll up the pet. True. But they will they would probably – I mean, how nice would it be to jerk to a lady who rolled up a pedophile? And it was funny because people went at Goblin and they were like, well, she was like, I was 16. This guy was trying to get me to like come to like fly me out. It was something like that. I don't want to slander. But it yeah, was, yeah, it was yeah. something it – was, it was a bad thing. Like he was pursuing me and uh, he was courting me basically. Yeah, he was courting. Old school courtship, dude. He's courting. So he was courting her on some sort of electronic device and uh, – and there, the one guy's like, well, if you knew it was wrong, why didn't you t- shut it off? And she was like, because I was 16, like a famous guy yeah. wanted to hang out with me. Obviously, I was excited. And yeah. I was like, fair point, All Gob. Right. Fair point, Gob. Point Goblin? <laughs> What's a fucking goon to a goblin, dude? Goblin. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, if Goblin stood her ground, linked the OnlyFans. Good for Gobs. That's not bad. Good for Gobs. R.I.P. Uh That's. I mean, that's all it is, dude. It's just like here today, gone tomorrow. It's just like that. Uncle Charles. Yeah, I'm going to miss him, bro. I'm going to miss Uncle Charles. Dude. That's what hey, Delia was just hanging out and that fucking angel touched him. <laughs> that was the goblin's hand. Just... I mean, you see it, dude. It just fucking spreads so quick. It spreads dude, so dude, fast. As soon as there's blood in the water, and it's you're, if, you, if there's a green light on your head and you're allowed to get shit on, people just come out of the woodworks and they're like, yeah, he bumped me at this mic. He's a fucking sack of shit asshole. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand likes, twenty retweets. It's like everybody hated him. You see, it's like all right, yeah, all right, yeah. I'm telling you, man. It's like we we're like a uh, we're definitely like the people who like first had fire who would light it and be like oh, yeah, yeah. it's like we're we have this amazing technology. And we're just like oh, yeah. <laughs> just, it, it, we're not ready for what like the the tool we have at our disposal. Yeah, and the, yeah, and the the group the mob mentality thing of just piling the fuck on people. Yeah. Wow. Oh, at least let it breathe, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's the, uh, that's the state of things today. COVID is, COVID might not be real. Doctors are 
very much phony motherfuckers. I hate Fuck doctors. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna, next time I go to the doctor again. I don't have health insurance right now, so it might be a Me while. Me neither. We, which is funny because we never really complain about the healthcare system. Mm-hmm. Probably should. Neither of us have. A, I'm 32. Dude. And I'm definitely going to be in declining health like shortly. Yeah, you might as well jump on. I got to start like complaining about healthcare because that is a little crazy. Yeah, that's some bullshit. We should have healthcare. I would say we should have. Healthcare. I would thought about this is my theory about that today. I just came up with that. You know, because like, doesn't England have a single payer system? Canada, France, everybody, all these countries that our military more or less kind of pays for, pays for, we and protect those boys. I think we purposely are left to not have healthcare to encourage enlistment in the military. Because I think if they were to give everybody health care, it's like that like $20,000 signing bonus and like killer benefits. It's like, fuck that. I already have that. So I th- I think since we're yeah. like world military, they don't give us health care to encourage more and more people to True. sign up for the military. Americans are basically Spartans. That's what I'm saying. That's we're, what ba- we're all jack dudes with abs. But we're fat. We're all fat. We're <laughs> fat Spartans. <laughs> fat Spartans. <laughs> yeah, we're fat. America's fat Spartans. Fat Spartans just at home watching. Because like, there's no reason, dude. We have so, so much fucking money. Like people I, run across like <laughs> foam. Like American Ninja Warrior, just fat dudes sitting there like, oh, oh. <laughs> just, we, are, we are. Pretty much. America is fat Sparta. It's fat Sparta, dude. That's- Boy love. No, that's great. That's the Athenian. That's the Greeks. Athenians. Dude, I got into uh, Boy Love. <laughs> well, that's, I started thinking of a game called Greek Twister the other day, where it's like, so you would say we were playing Greek Twister. I was thinking about how supple, after my parents called me fat, I was like trying to combat in my head in the shower, like, I'm more supple, dude. I'm more fucking, yeah. I'm more just like, you know, I, my body flows, dude. For sure. Very, it is very Greek. It's like a Greek statue. It's not like ripped, really. You can tell there's muscle underneath, small but there's small dick. There's t- tiny <laughs> dick, tiny ass dick. Tiny dick, like not a totally well-defined six yeah. pack and not like huge pecs, but like, you know, it's definitely you tell the guy strong as fuck from the you statue. Just ooze intelligence. Fat ass. You ooze intelligence. Exactly, dude. You can't be like yoked and, and people see you and be like, oh, that guy's smart. Although that would be You got to be slightly soft. They, that's what I'm saying. I'm I have, so smart. I have some IQ fat on me. Yeah. I have IQ fat on my yes. body. <laughs> But yeah, the um, I don't even remember the fuck I was talking about. Oh, Greek Twister. So I started thinking about like just a good thing for people to play. Yeah. So it's just two dudes get naked and compare the strength, kind of like you and Phil arm wrestled the other day. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about. That. Yeah, I forgot about you guys. Yeah. You, you get totally naked, and then like so you and I be naked. Like you put it in, like a bed or in the grass, and then we're like, all right, let's see whose wrist is stronger than whose wrist. And it's like you do wrist power, and then it's like, all right, let's do wrists while we do ankles. It's Greek Twister, and then you have to constantly combat different body parts to see who can overpower whose. <laughs> <laughs> what? How do you do? You get the dong, dude. These are. Dude, I mean, you thought of dong, obviously. No, I didn't. I didn't. You didn't think of one. No, this dong? is just. A, this is just a classic uh, contest of strength, dude. In the spirit of old school bodybuilding, which obviously you're going to be yeah. naked for this. And Greco Roman. This was and an Greco idea. Wrestling, which was naked. Na- for sure, 100 percent had to be naked. Yeah. This. So I get ideas before I fall asleep, and this was one that I was like, <laughs> Greek Twister, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Why Twister? Because <laughs> you'd spin the dial, and it'd be like hand, feet. And you have to just like instead of like touching the square, you just see whose hand or feet is stronger than the other person. So you have to de state. You don't have to be naked for this, honestly. You just I know, but in the spirit of the, the spirit Olympics, of Greco- <laughs> in the spirit of the Olympics, you should be naked. You should have. You should be Phil, at least. Phil fucking proved his dominated. He dominated. Yeah, there was some leftover chicken. Phil was eating some leftover chicken. I came up to I'm a bit of a vulture. If you went up behind him. If Phil's eating something. I always act like I'm going to mm-hmm. grab it, and he. It's it's just it's too fun. Does he box you out? Yes. He immediately he's, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like if you reach for his food, he's like, you fuck out of here. <laughs> so fun. Or if he has a knife or fork, he'll fucking he'll poke he'll swing you. it. He'll go for you. Which is very fun. Uh does he no look to a lot of old men will be like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in the movie when uh like the cool badass is playing poker and sticks a knife through someone's hand. <laughs> You know what I mean? When they're trying yeah, to cheat yeah, the yeah, table, yeah. he's like, put the coins. <laughs> so my dad does the mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> he sees my hand reach for his tates. But he... Uh, Are you constantly trying to scoundrel his food? I constantly fuck with his food, yes. Oh, God. Yeah, no, it's just funny. He he thinks it's funny, too. Of it's course. Not. I wouldn't do it if it hurt him. But... <laughs> He I, when I it's went a for sick his form chicken. of elder abuse, just like prison fucking bullying. Just like, that's my fucking potato. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. I come home, rub his head when he's sitting on the recliner. <laughs> I always and he's good to fuck off. <laughs> like he'll be sitting on it. You can always see the tip of his head on the chair. So I'll <laughs> shake his head. I'm like, fuck <laughs> Steal the remote, hand it to him. Act like I'm gonna hand it to him. Pull it oh, away. Fuck. Like, Give me the fucking remote. <laughs> uh, it's nonstop. It's nonstop. Now that I think about it, you must be. So happy when I leave. 
Oh my god! Like finally, just to fucking relax. He's gotta love it, man. He does. He does. He's happy. He saw so, with him with the remote, uh, and I'm like, I'll stop doing it if you don't laugh. And he's always like, He can't, he can't not dude, laugh. Dude, I'm telling so you, fun. you saw my baby, dude. That's I think babies are a trick to getting you into loving people. Because when you have them as a baby, you're like, yeah. God, I fucking love this person. Yeah. If you if like you just emerged at 34 in your dad's world, he'd be like, get the fuck yeah, out of true. here, dude. True. <laughs> just came out like, give me some potatoes. You'd be like, dude, no, no. they're mine. They're no. mine. Yeah. But yeah, yeah he's only when I was a sweet boy. Oh, he's dude. smiling, laughing. He loves it. Looking up to him. Now I rub his head. He loves it. Yeah. But uh, so there was some leftover chicken. I went for it <laughs> until immediately <laughs> boxed me out. <laughs> I I cried against it. I rallied. I said, "This is bullshit. That those are my leftovers. They sure. weren't. They weren't at all." You called them, <laughs> but I said I called them. <laughs> Which you know, it was an unri- He wasn't there for it, but he does honor. He called it code. True. So if somebody called it and you weren't there for the call, you still respect. You hear out the. You hear out the claim. So he threw down the gauntlet. So then he fucking put his elbow on the island in the kitchen. God, that's so fucking alpha. Just dude. instantly was just like, and I was like, oh fuck. My sister was in the in the living room. She was like, Wait, "Sosa or McGuire?" Ma- Sosa was in there. Slam and, <laughs> Slam and Sarah was in there. Slam and Sarah is recovering from some surgery, so she's had a lot of couch time. She's, been, she's in the early lead. She's the, charging up farts on the couch. Well, it's the summer of home runs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the summer of my sister's knocking them out of the park, and I'm keeping track. I pretend there's a count. I pretend there's a count. <laughs> Oh, yeah, fuck. which is even more funny because they're uh, like, "When are you talking?" They get like upset. They're like, what you, are you talking? Have you heard about? a single fart? They have not farted once. <laughs> but you know, you gotta lie about it. I was, I was, <laughs> uh, oh. So Phil threw the gauntlet down. Sosa was hyped immediately. Oh, immediately so he's like, "You have to do it, or you're a pussy." You slam it, Sarah. Sosa was claimed it. <laughs> Dude, watching Fart McGuire, Fart McGuire uh, there was just a 30 for 30 on Fart McGuire and Sarah Sosa. And it's so fucking funny. Sarah Sosa, Sarah's more the outgoing personality one. Fart yeah. McGuire is all business. <laughs> Fart McGuire is fucking jacked. It's so funny. Sarah Sosa is more of a showman. Oh, my God. Uh, oh my <laughs> it's God. so funny to call your sisters that. Uh, Especially when they finally fart in front. How often do your sisters fart never, in front of you? Like made an effort to not. Yeah, my which sisters is crazy never fart. I, I do nothing but fart in front of them. That's what I'm saying, dude. Our dinner table is like, like we fart. If I go to family dinner, it's a fart. In fact, Sosa was watching me literally record farts and send them to my friends in the group chat. Really? And <laughs> this bad boy broke out. Oh, you got it going. <laughs> <laughs> you said that one to the group chat i said that to the group that that a, i timed it it was about a seven second fart and with a little bump punctuate you got an exclamation That's point on the end of that that was chipping it onto the green sent it home. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people would have picked that up and not sent that but i'd play you know that was good uh me. yeah pardon me don't do that and uh but yeah phil phil laid down the gauntlet I will say I was laughing the entire time, so that doesn't really count as a win. But yeah, he won. Phil wasn't he laughing. He, he wasn't fucking, laughing at all. And it was one of those where, like, in one second, I knew I lost. He probably lost like a millimeter off his teeth on like, that one. Right, <laughs> true. <laughs> <You're a> fucking <laughs> cocksucker. If he would have lost, it would have been over. If he would have lost arm wrestling, I would he that would have been his death. Ah, yeah, as I'm I would have reminded him every day. I'd be like, "You're dying." <laughs> like now he's got a little life in the. Yeah. He's got a little life. He's hopping around. I beat my freshman gym teacher in sumo wrestling, and I never let him forget it, dude. Yeah, you it can't. almost felt bad after all. He had a claw. He had like one of those fucking hands that were. Oh, like, yeah, mangled up. Hands. Like my pop up head, like where he like he like blew up in a furnace or something, where like he was fixing <laughs> something. And he had one of these permanent <laughs> things, and all he liked to show was how good he was at wrestling. And I threw him out of the fucking circle, made fun of him for freshman it. Every day. Year. Yeah, I. In eighth grade, or, no, no, no. It's kind of all we had. Could have been eighth grade. It was, I think, my junior year in high school. I beat Phil in wrestling. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I called Joan in for. I yelled for my mom. I'd be like, "You have to witness this," because he'll lie. Because you were fucking. I had him pinned. Did you? And he couldn't get up and long enough for me to call for my mom to come upstairs. But anyway, <laughs> he created a monster. He created, yeah. He so created that happened with Billy. He created a monster. And now Billy is just like, I'll try to wrestle him, and it just it's scary, dude. Oh yeah, you didn't even tell your wrestling story. Fuck, man, it was embarrassing. What happened? Sunday, fucking showed him my fucking ass, dude. I, I <laughs> Sunday was dude, this, first of all. I mean, you this see, is literally the ass showing Olympics, dude. You I, participated in several events. Oh, <laughs> first of all, I've, I've been used. I've been working on Shred now. I now have Mark bragging thirteen workouts on Shred. The app. Sick. 
So I'm working on shred. I thought I was like, I did 13 workouts. People are probably going to be stoked on my body. Go home, shirt off revealed. The whole family, my in-laws were there. Everyone's there swimming in the pool. My, my dad's like, you got a little pouch on you. <sighs> Immediately, my dad calls me fat. And I'm like, thought I was jacked. Now I'm fat. This fucking you just sucks. have to get fat enough where people don't bring it up to you because it actually is hurtful. Yeah, that's the thing. That's where I'm at. The, yeah, I take the, my shirt off. People are like, <laughs> they don't say anything, you know? <laughs> They're not going to fucking call me out. <laughs> yeah, my mom said something. So then, like, and again, I hadn't eaten all day because I did the Church of Dog. Also, you have to be the meanest possible. Like, if, if you are slighted in any way, you respond with the harshest thing you can. True. To get so people- somebody's like, oh, man, you're fat. I'm like, yeah, well, your parents are dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta, the harshest comeback. Wrap your heart in barbed you wire. To, you, can't, you can't let them in. Yeah. You can't let sure. them make fun of your love handles. You have to bring up their, for like, sure. Siblings, uh, uh, you said I had bitch hips before too. For the yeah, record, well, that, the hips got me, dude. I passed that on to you. <laughs> bitch hips, bitch hips is the meanest thing you can call another man. I, dude, I told you this before. I remember when I was when it was Fart McGuire, dude, and Slam and Sarah. They got me with bitch hips. They were on the couch. I was oh. laying on the floor in front of the TV. And I was laying on my side. <laughs> Like a swimsuit model. <laughs> That's my bitch hips. You're like a male bikini model. Yes, and my bitch hips were very pronounced, I guess. Oh. And Slam and, Slam and Sarah and Far McGuire just had a field day on me. It was just, <laughs> oh. they were just taking turns. But bitch hips, yeah. I mean, dude, the psychological warfare endured from two older sisters is, I yeah. can't imagine it, dude. Because it's like, I just got beat up by my older brothers and that was yeah. that was the end of it. They were like, you're fucking gay. And I was like, I don't think I'm gay. Yeah. But all right, guys, I appreciate you didn't say that. I got called gay throughout. Yeah, but girls are like really good at tearing. And they were, yeah, and they were, they knew what was tearing men apart that were six or seven years older than me because that's how old they were. Jesus, man. So I was getting hit with like, you know, what do do like college dudes hate getting called while I was in like fifth grade? (laughs) Like, wait, what (laughs) What'd they give you? I mean, bitch hips was, bitch hips was a rough one. Yeah, it's thunder thighs. Thunder thighs is so funny. Got me, I got, dude, I still. Thunder thighs and bitch hips. <laughs> this should be called Thunder yeah. Thighs and Bitch Hips Secret Podcast. <laughs> uh, God, I'm trying to think when they got me on. They, I mean, they would expose me. Like, if they knew, like, the time, I thought I was getting away with jerking off in the shower. And they're oh. like, you're disgusting. Everybody knows what you're doing. <laughs> Just the shame yeah, of, like. Fuck. <laughs> Um, that sucks because all, all my older brothers are also jerking off. So this was yeah. kind of like a skull and bone situation. Which is really disgusting to think about. <laughs> so said Mark. So said Fart getting after it. But, you know. That's why you're counting their farts now. They were counting your beats, they dude. Came, being like, yeah, you're at a perfect 500 for the spring. I had a hell of a summer that year. <laughs> I destroyed Maris's old record. <laughs> Chris, you've lived here for a year and a half. No, I know. But when I choose to do it, I can do it really well. Yeah. Yeah. When, when you put yeah. your mind to washing a dish, yeah, you knock it's it out of the park. Clean as hell, yeah. <laughs> also, I think that sponge, any sponge, is probably more disgusting than the food that was on. I, cl- it, in I, my I, I, I replace the sponge weekly. Not you'd have you have to use know. a new sponge every time. How the fuck would time. you know if that's a, a new sponge? Or I'm not. saying you have to use a new sponge every time. Okay, do you use a new a towel every time you bathe yourself? Literally, what you use to grow. You are bacteria. the filthiest human being I've ever met in my life, and you have the balls to say this. <laughs> this is, we're just talking about sponges here. You I'm are. Not, you, not might, a, you might be the sponge. <laughs> <laughs> the sponge. You are the sponge. <laughs> sponge. Oh shit, dude! Look what you you yeah, walk fuck. yourself into a new nickname. You're going to Phoenix <laughs> this weekend. Do not. Please yell out the sponge. Yeah. Turd. The turd sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Why, dude? You said you weren't going to do this anymore. The sponge, dude. The sponge works. It's a fun one. Sponge is turd. Good. <laughs> Old Chipper Chris. Yeah, I was excited. Yeah, it's wild. You really don't like seeing him happy. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's <just> fake. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your happiness? Yeah. I've seen you really happy. What does that look like? Just Actually, today, also you, quiet. today I thought you were genuinely happy. Yeah. And I did like it. <laughs> was he genuinely happy when you got your lease signed and you went upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> Shane always has to, he sees me happy and he has to go just like, let him have it. Yeah. Just give him an hour. <laughs> oh, we got to get a third. Yeah. I got to get a GoPro too. Yeah. We can go to the end. This is why we yeah. need $5, you fucking dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> why? Oh, how about a, thanks, donors. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, donors. Thank you the, yeah, thank you for now, the people. You're right. Thank you for the support. Hey, we love the support. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to make it out of this content house. <laughs> yeah, right. Chris will die. He'll be dead in fucking two weeks. I, I love this place. I, th- I thought I was the dark horse or the uh, 
the, the lead horse here for most likely to die first? Me. You think? 100%. What are you talking about? You think he's most likely to die? I thought it, for, it, it is me. But Chris is a suicide. Why would it be you? Yeah. What are you going to overdose on Bud Light? Yeah. That takes fucking t- 100, 150 years. Yeah, I'll be going downhill. That's why you got to stay away from the adult car. Years. I'm trying to save your life. Oh, that's yeah. my that's my car. Okay, yeah. That's where you die. What's this? Let me see. This is too big. That's too big? Look that's at this. That's not one mouth bite. What, what are you doing? Why? Why? What's two? wrong with what that? What the fuck is this? This is too big. What? You Attention want to detail. Dude, this is too big? Yes. You got a tiny mouth. Half inch. Attention to detail. This is what... That's good. How about you let me make it how I like it a little bit? You can have your pieces in there. I got my pieces. You know, the we'll reason. see how it comes out in the end. We'll the reason what, what people like best. Everything has to be the same is because it, it'll cook. Typically, if we're using heat, like your vegetables have to be all. What? I don't understand. What the fuck? Why can't I say something without looking like a jerk off? No. You're supposed to dice everything pretty much the same size so that it cooks evenly all the way through. That's true. You don't it's want true. a giant piece of pepper that's not fully cooked when you got little pieces of onion that's small. I hate when a piece of pepper shows up. You think that's too big? That seems like a perfect bite to me. You washed your hands? Yeah. Unlikely. I did. The acid will kill I all washed this his cup and I washed my hands. Come on, this is way too slow. Dude. I let I, I like to yeah well to move over and use this this knife you rush through it it, it smashes the fish and it ruins the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Look at this! Look at the sea salt on this hat from Boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. I love the idea of like every episode he just gets one more oh, addition man. to it. The Commodore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, come on, cause let me, I gotta get some peppers in there. <laughs>